Hi there. How are you? Fine. Good morning. No, What's your last name? Chains. If you are uh, here with us today and you're struggling to, don't worry, we got you. FOIA Fest is where we come every year and uh, we have uh, journalists from throughout Chicago and we have members of the community who want to know how to get records from uh, our government. The importance of FOIA Fest is to give uh, journalists and community leaders uh, an opportunity to learn how to file a FOIA request and how to use it. Every year it grows and uh, the ticket sales pick up and every year we're drawing more and more speakers from around the country. It's okay for journalists to be for transparency and to raise questions about records being withheld because that is something fundamental to our job. It's like freedom of the press, that we need to be able to have the freedom to write. We need the freedom to get these records so we can do stories and hold government accountable. I was thrilled to see 100 journalists willing to come up early on a Saturday morning uh, and spend their day learning about public records. It sounds like a really boring, nerdy thing, but it is so important and powerful to tell important stories. Every state, including Illinois, has problems with their laws. And if we don't care enough to do, about, do something about it and to raise awareness, nobody else will. Yeah, it's more art than science. I mean, the main thing is trying different things. And a FOIA can be as simple as a one sentence email that says, under the public records law, I am requesting X. But you often need to try different things uh, and sometimes you learn by experience, you learn from other journalists. There were 15 panels scheduled throughout the day with individual stories and ideas. Okay, so when, you, when you're when you first starting out and you're trying to think of you know what records it is you, you want to collect, you know, you want to really try and think of any and all agencies that would have these records, right? So who is it that would be collecting this information? Who is it that would be maintaining this specific information? Don't use your personal phone or your personal computers or your personal email accounts for any business. Mm -hmm. This year, there's an all day long FOIA clinic where reporters and other members of the public who are having problems with formulating their FOIA request or, or don't know the nuts and bolts of the, the act or want some other tidbits or advice about how to put a FOIA request together, they can come and ask that of um, folks that are staffing the FOIA clinic. Even just in Illinois, there's a culture of non-transparency that I would say is probably more palpable than in other states. You can't cover really corruption in this, in this state through open records. You have to have human sources, and there are plenty of them out there. And to the extent that you can use open records, it takes three, four times as long. And that's where we get into FOIAs. They like to have a lot of documents and records that kind of back up what we're finding. You know, record when you called and that you left a message and what the nature of the message was. I mean, all of that needs to be written down somewhere so it's not lost, because when you, when you need it, you really need it. Our panel was about uh, giving people uh, the lessons that we had learned doing a project on sexual violence in the Chicago public schools. First of all, about how to organize and keep track of, of FOIAs, per, potentially in preparation for a lawsuit. How much do you advocate for your story? The essence of FOIA is to bring to, the, to light facts and data and records and information. The reason you're doing it, the mission behind that is not just sort of the pure joy of liberating facts. It is because what has happened that is hidden is an injustice or involves suffering. I also was on the student panel last year, um, so coming back again with some new experiences and some new info that hopefully we can talk about. I, I've learned quite a bit in the last two years since I started coming here. You are entitled to these records and you don't need to give a reason. A lot of times FOIA may be a part of another conference where maybe it's just you know one panel, but there's so much to it. Um, there's so much to learn about FOIA that it really is deserving of an entire day. I'm kind of inspired right now when I have a little bit of free time to just go and like find something to FOIA just to try it out. I am definitely planning on coming back next year for FOIA Fest.